Today in this video, we are going to learn how two contactors get mechanically interlocked. Like if I turn on this contactor and after this, if I try to turn on other contactor, then it won't get turned on. Or if I turn on this contactor and try to turn on the other one, then it will also won't get turned on. So you can say that these contactors are interlocked. How interlocking can be done? Let's understand. First, we will learn what is interlocking. Suppose you have a motor and you need to run this motor in forward as well as in reverse direction. Then you have to use two different contactors. But condition here is only one contactor should be operated at a time. If one contactor is an on condition, then other must not be turned on anyway. This condition in this case is known as interlocking. I just now explained through motor, but apart from this condition, there are various other cases in which interlocking is necessary. Where we need interlocking, you can see on the screen. For now, I have these two contactors and I have to interlock them. To interlock them, I have two options. First, I can interlock them electrically. Second is to interlock them mechanically. How to interlock electrically, we will going to discuss in some other video. So right now, I am going to discuss the mechanical interlocking. To interlock these contactors, we have to use this type of accessory. This contact for interlocking, which I have now, has two plunger. One on this side and other on this side. If I try to pull this upwards on the other side, this lever or plunger will lock itself and not move upwards. Similarly, if I pull this lever upwards and try to pull this one, then it won't make full contact. Overall, we can say only one at a time can be pulled upwards. Now, how this can be mounted with contactor, let's understand. In this contactor, if I look at this side, you can see a cover is there. First, remove this cover. When you remove this, you will see something like this. Now we will have an option here to mount this contact. There is a simple way to mount this. What you have to do is place your contactor in this position. Now the contact you have now has a knob. Take this knob and look at the middle of contactor. A slot is present there. You have to place this lever here. This has mounted perfectly. Keep one thing in mind. This side should be downwards. At the upper side, it should be flat. Take the other contactor and look at this side. After removing the sticker, mount the contactor with this lever present here. So I am mounting this. Okay. I mounted both of the contactors on contact. I will still not remove my hands on contactor to check whether it is perfectly interlocked or not. Both the contactors are making proper movement. So we mount it perfectly. I am now keeping the contactors like this. When placed like this, put this cover in middle. This portion here, in this way mount here. Don't mount on upper side, mount in this side only, where the mechanical interlocking was done. So I mounted this here. If I even try to pull these, it won't come out. Press this cover even more. Now our contactors are interlocked mechanically. For now, I am connecting a lamp with these contactors so that you can clearly understand. Now first, I am turning on this contactor. I am directly turning this on, but you must perform electrical connection. This contactor is on now. You can see this lamp is in on condition. If I try to turn on this contactor, you can see it is locked and lamp is not glowing. If I turn on this contactor and after that, when I try to turn on this one, you can see it is locked. You can say that we interlock these contactors and precisely we done the mechanical interlocking. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please do like, share and comment on my video. And if you didn't subscribe my channel, please subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching this video.